So we're going to have a look now at voltage transformers, VTs or PTs for potential, potential transformers. So voltage transformers are used generally on higher voltage. Uh, this example that's in front is a, a very basic sketch which could represent a small substation. We've got an 11 kilovolt intake here, um, a transformer primary. Um, and then we have a 230 volt secondary okay um, we want to measure the incoming voltage um, but it's a little bit tricky when you've got 11 kilovolt because 11 kilovolt it is high voltage um, the insulation needs to be bigger on the cables uh, the equipment needs to have a higher strength voltage strength so an easy solution to that is to use a voltage transformer so what we have here is we have a transformer ratio of 100 to 1, which is effectively reducing. It's a step-down transformer. So we connect the voltage to our lines. Uh, there are no fuses drawn on this, by the way, so please don't use this as a perfect example. It's just for illustration purposes only. Um, you, you would probably have a little protection fuse in there, uh, just in case there was a short circuit in the transformer. Um, so this is our primary feed. Uh, and then we have a, again, we have a, a voltmeter, 110 volt voltmeter. This could be a digital multimeter, really, plugged into the transformer. Um, or it could be just a moving core meter, panel meter. The ratio is 100 to 1. So effectively, on full load, 11 kilovolt, we will be displaying 110 volts. So uh, obviously, what we could do here is we could change the scaling uh, to 11 um, in, in terms of kilovolt so the scaling would need to be changed uh, but the actual reference would be the same okay um, so yeah voltage transformers um, I've got a, another document here and this document is about the watt meter so watt meters measure true power um, and in uh, industry and uh, homes and, uh, in general Electrical energy is measured and it's purchased in kilowatt hours. Uh, so that's the amount of energy we are using per hour. Okay. Um, if I scroll down, you can see the um, good old fashioned um, domestic uh, watt meter, kilowatt hour meter, should I say. Um, these work on the principle of a aluminium disc. Um, that effectively runs very similar to an induction motor. Uh, the disc rotates, uh, there's a magnetic field induced in the disc and it rotates subject to the amount of current that's being pulled. Uh, the greater the current, the quicker the disc rotates because the stronger magnetic field. Uh, that in turn drives some gears that are internal and hence you get your display. There are obviously, these are still used. Um, in fact, I have one in my home as we speak. Uh, but they are slowly getting replaced by digital smart meters. Uh, incidentally, your digital smart meters, when they, if you fit a smart meter, it will come with a CT. Uh, so hopefully, after, um, if you look at my CT presentation, you'll see what they actually are. So what meter then? We have a current coil. We have a voltage coil. Um, these measure true power, um, and they effectively require a potential coil. So across the supply, so zero, so that's our voltage reference, and the current coil. Uh, and like I said, and that in turn um, gives us our watt meter reading. Okay. Um, if you wanted to measure VA, volt amperes, to work out the power factor, then what you would do is you would take a voltmeter reading, a separate voltmeter reading, then you would take an ammeter reading times the two together. That gives you your VA. And obviously, um, your power factor is your watt meter reading divided by your volt a meter reading. Yep. Okay, that's how okay. Power factor. Okay. So if we just look at this basic circuit, then we've got live neutral, 230 volt single phase supply, feeding a load. Um, I've drawn a little fuse in there. Um, the watt meter is connected as so. So the current section is connected through. And the voltage connection is connected across the potential. So the watt meter is in fact measuring the current uh, and it is measuring the, uh, the potential. Now again, um, 
for higher current applications, um, you may use CTs. So obviously this is for a domestic, a typical domestic supply where you're getting up to no more than 50, 60 amps. So the workings within the watt meter would be uh, quite substantial for that kind of ampage. But when you start getting onto very high levels of current, then you would you would certainly use CTs uh, and voltage transformers as well uh, connected across the supply, and they would feed into um, an actual uh, electronic watt meter where you would have some amplifiers uh, and some analog to digital conversion, so it can obviously do the maths to determine uh, what the actual watt meter reading would be. But not only that, the the latter function using a digital controller. Um, it can you can also get information like the power factor, the reactive level of the um, you know of the supply, um, and also um, generally just what your total power would be um, you know over a particular period because some industries do get fined if they go over a particular level of power so they uh, they are penalised and again with electricity suppliers if a company is running with a very poor power factor. Um, then again, they will have a penalty for that because obviously it's been it's effectively an extra it's extra current has been taken from the supply unnecessarily. Okay, so I hope you found that useful, then. So VTs, uh, quick look at the VT. So there's a VT. Okay, um, it's just basically a step down transformer that feeds uh, a lower voltage voltmeter. That voltmeter can be put remotely, um, and then obviously the wattmeter. Uh, is a combination of a current and voltmeter uh, connected into uh, the incoming supply to determine how much current is being pulled. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, thanks for thanks for watching.